What's going on guys? I'm Alan and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be continuing our bedroom renovation series. It has been about nine months since we uh, posted anything in this series and that is because we've been waiting on one thing and that is this. This storage bed right here that Ashley's kind of opening up. So yeah, this came from uh, Pottery Barn. They actually don't even make this thing anymore um, but it took nine months to get here because of COVID and everything. We uh, Thought about getting a different bed a few times. We just couldn't really find anything else that we liked. Our house is really small, so everything really needs to have storage. So this is, yeah, a bed frame. And this is going to have, um, like, drawers. So these pull out. This is a queen-size bed frame. And then that one over there does the same thing. Um, and, of course, this will have slats, you know, going across the top of it. And then there's the headboard over there. So, yeah, we're going to be getting this thing put together. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I just finished putting the bed together. The assembly of that wasn't too difficult or anything. I'm um, just kind of walk you guys through it real quick. Um, the only kind of weird thing was the way that the uh, headboard and footboard attach. I probably won't be able to show this to you guys very well, but um, <clears throat> see so you do have to like put these bolts in like down here, um, going this way into the uh, footboard. Same way on the headboard, the bolt um, goes in through that way. So you do have to pull the drawers out to get the uh, bolts in. So be aware of that if you're putting this thing together, which they don't make this anymore. So probably not to too many people out there, but maybe you have a similar one or something. Um, yeah, and this whole thing is all solid wood and then just has like a veneer over the top of it. So it's very sturdy. This thing is like rock solid not moving anywhere um, so yeah that's pretty cool i also thought the slat design was kind of neat how it has these like uh, i don't know how well you guys can see this but these are just like um, fabric and then you only screw down like you know every few uh, ones and then these just kind of help hold them in place so i thought that was kind of neat made for super fast assembly because you just kind of pull it out and then just screw in a few and then it's done um let me know if you guys have any questions or anything about this bed um, down in the comments but we're excited about it like i said our house is pretty small so being able to like you know put some clothes underneath this thing is going to be awesome um, we have just enough room to extend these drawers all the way just barely we knew it was going to be kind of a tight fit but the good news is we can still get those out most of the way so we'll try to put stuff over here that we don't get in and out of too often then this side can be a little more accessible uh, what's next in here? We have quite a few different things. This was really kind of holding up everything because we needed the storage in this bed to kind of free up some space uh, to do some other things. Um, so we do have some sconces that we're going to put up um, here and here. I'll go grab those here in a minute, show those to you. Uh, we won't do that today, but at some point we'll do those. And we're also going to do some little nightstands like here and here. I think we're going to build some custom ones because as you guys can see, that's a really small area. It's like uh, 16 inches something like that um, so we're probably just going to build something that like attaches to the wall and just kind of have like a floating nightstand there one over there um, maybe just enough to like kind of set your phone on uh, so it they won't be big or anything um, that's pretty much it for over here 
And then on this side of the room, sorry, this side's kind of a mess right now because we moved a bunch of stuff to get the bed put in here. Uh, but next up over here, uh, we're going to put a little desk over here um, for my wife, just so whenever she's working from home, she'll have just a little small office area over here. As you guys can see, this desk is just kind of temporary. <laughs> um, yeah, so that we'll be doing that at some point um, on this renovation series. So probably in the next month or two, we're going to try to get the desk and her a chair going. Um, not sure what we're going to do underneath this window. We talked about maybe doing an electric fireplace. Not sure. We'll see. Um, and we just need to get some like kind of artwork and plants and stuff and we'll be ready to roll. Here's what the sconces look like. They're just kind of black and circular and there's two of those and we'll put one on each side of the bed. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the bedroom renovation. Hopefully we won't have uh, as big of a pause between this video and the next one. Uh, so it should just be maybe a month or two and we'll have another video uh, coming out uh, on this series. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm shooting for 1,000 subscribers uh, by the end of the year. As you can see, I have a pretty small channel, so if you guys would uh, you know, subscribe, it just really helps a lot. And uh, you know, since these numbers are so small, uh, every subscriber makes a difference, so you guys can really help me out a lot. Well, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.